Hey and welcome to the channel, my name is Åsa. Today we will make a haul of products that I found at the Flying Tiger. So, these are all the stuff that I got at the Flying Tiger. I can link the website below. And the first thing to show is are these stamps, uh, letters and numbers and symbols. And uh, when you take them out, they're quite long, they are in wood. The letter R here and the stamp is in rubber. And you also get these two sponges, I would say, red and black. And here I try out the A and you can see quite lots of color ends up on the like area around the A and the result then will be like this. So I will swatch all of the letters that you see soon. And I did this, the brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, I remembered that I will show all the letters, but I'm missing Z, uh, C, sorry, so I don't know. And then the numbers, of course, I did with a red sponge. The numbers turned out better, the letters had more the area around them, but I still like them and I think I can use them in any of my projects. Okay, next up are uh, these uh, paper tapes. First time I buy, never used them before, love the pattern, they are thick, they are not see-through at all. And when putting them on paper, the result looks like, like this, so it will be really fun to use these. <laughs> Here are all three of them. I can't wait to use them. I really love them. So really recommend these kind of tapes. Uh, next thing is are these stickers. Uh, it's actually the alphabet in neon color. And the letters have uh, glitter and I love glitter. So it will be lots of fun to use these. Next item are these um, stamp markers, they're called. They're actually pens as stamps and you are supposed to be able to stamp these symbols, heart, star and so on. They're thick um, and very lightweight, I remember. And when you take off the lid, the stamp is like a sponge also, quite thick. Uh, this is actually the cloud. You can barely see it there. If I tilt it like that, you see that cloud is sticking up there. Um, so I tried the first uh, pen out and there was a cloud, you can see I first pressed too little and I need to press more, but I really liked the result when it was, um, I pressed harder. And this is the result. These ones I also really like. Okay, well, next... Um, Pens are these highlighters, there are actually two in one, so six colors, and you could see the fluid there moving, and they are really bright in the color. And here they are all of them, so these are also really cool, and they don't go through the paper, so I will for sure use them lots in my bullet journaling. I also bought these uh, pens which is twin markers in shade of purple and I will show you they have uh, the twin is that then the thick side and then it also have a thinner side. And I was really happy about these I thought wow well, now I also have three shades of purple I made the first swatch and I checked of course on the other side and oh, no they go through the paper oh not so good it just had to happen on a piece of card. And there is the result, really nice bright colors, not sure when I will use them though. Then I also bought this uh, sketchbook um, that has nice and thick matte papers. And what I really like is that I'm able to fold it completely so it's much easier to draw. 
Then also this coloring book. This is my first coloring book in uh, when I'm adult. And this has been around for years. Um, but this is my first one and I really look forward to color it. Uh, and the patterns were really nice. Nothing new, I would say, but still very pretty. Then also I got this with soft cover. This I will use it as a sketchbook with these parrots or birds on. I really like the, the colors. I also got these rulers, need to have. Oh, and this one. Um, I think it's Danish. It's, I don't know, should I pronounce it? Kusedule male bug. Well, if you are Danish and you watch this, you need to tell me how I was doing. Actually, it's pre-printed watercolor, as you see, and then you draw on top of that. So let's see what I do with this really fun book. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up if you thought the video uh, was good. And I will be very happy if you also left a comment to say hello before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time again. Bye!